Lucy. Hi. Um, one thing that I always marvel about is people's names. Yeah. Lucy St. Louis. Yeah. That's a good name. <laughs> I was very lucky, yeah. How did you end up with that? That, that is actually my name, it's on my birth certificate. Yeah. Now we've uh, interrupted your reverie yeah. because you've just finished a matinee mm -hmm. and presumably this is um, this is a time when you might yeah, no, this relax is, this or is, sleep yeah, or what, what do you do? Well, vocal rest is, is key um, because of like the challenging things that we have to do through the show. Me obviously putting on a Diana-esque voice throughout mm. the show which is naturally not something that um, is com like is naturally in my voice. So um, so yeah, key um, steam, rest, um, sit and watch a bit of Netflix or something. <laughs> now you don't look old enough to really know much about Motown. Do you know what I mean? Like, were you aware of all of these? Yeah. 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 I grew up listening to Motown. Like um, my family are big lovers of music and. Yeah lovers of Motown, so even from the age of seven I was dad's into Diana Ross. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think this this style of music it, it is um, timeless. Everyone loves it. It's timeless and I think generations today of five-year-olds, six-year-olds would still dance to Michael Jackson and mm. know who he is. Mm. Necessarily not know the history of Motown, no. but the music lives through every generation I don't think ever will get old. I've got a CD of, uh, that's very old fashioned of me, I have a, a copy a of a CD, uh -huh. <laughs> I have a copy of an early Michael Jackson album and I put it on in the gym when I need motivation. Yeah, <laughs> but it's, it's that sort of... Kind of on stage of Diana Ross, yes. what would you have said? Get out of here! <laughs> no way, no way, it is, um, it, is, it is amazing, it is such a dream, it's such an incredible role and because it is real life, we're telling the story of real yeah. life people, you don't always get to do that in no. theatre. Do you have the role of the show though, in my opinion? Oh, because you, you get to be the glamour and the dr in, yeah. the, when, in your trio. Yeah. You also get some meaty scenes, yeah. you know, because the re personal yeah, relationships yeah, yeah. are personal, there. The love relationships. And then you get to be the glamorous soloist and do all. It must be fun for there, a girl. There's a massive joke. I've got sisters, <laughs> and it must be fun when you put all that gear on. Yes, it is. And <laughs> I, the costumes are incredible. You look and, wonderful. And the eras, those eras what we go through the 60s to the 80s, they are so iconic and so beautiful and glamorous mm. and the wigs and the costumes that I get to wear in this show are just spectacular. Mm. But for me, I do such a massive journey. I start from 17 mm. and I end late 30s. Mm. So I have a massive maturity that I have to go on through the, throughout the show. So I think I can get a lot more meat out of the, you know, I can dig deeper because I have such a journey to portray. I was here opening night and, and Barry Gordy got up on stage. Yes. As and did Smokey, Smokey Robinson. Robinson. I know. And I remember sitting in can the audience thinking, it? that's them. I know. You know, you I had know. to pinch yourself. Oh my because God. Because Barry Gordy wrote the script. Yeah, he mm. wrote the book. Yeah. The book. Um, yeah, he wrote the book and, and he had a lot of love from Smokey and... What Mary was it like working Barry. with them? I mean, these are the real dudes. <laughs> well, he, Barry Gordy was in my, my audition, my, towards the end, my final lot of auditions, that he was be, there. That must be nerve-wracking. Terrifying, because he <laughs> loved this woman, he loved Diana Ross so much, and he knows every detail of her. <laughs> that when I'm Personally and her, professionally. Exactly, yeah. so when I'm going in there trying to obviously portray, and obviously I can't copy her, but bring the essence of her and and show him the reason why he made her a star, yes. want to make her a star. What was that? Fans sent me some of these from uh, um, from some of her original brochures from her concerts. Yeah? Yeah, they were beautiful. Oh, cool. Yeah, it was amazing. And this, this was one, this, another fan sent me this, this was one of her original um, brochures for one of her concerts. Program? Yeah, program, yeah. Wow. 
it's oh, amazing. That's, they've kept that a while. And they came and watched the show <laughs> and then sent me this as a memento to be like, we'll give it to you because, <laughs> you know, you are now Diana Ross. There's another side to her, which is great because you get to see that in the show. Mm. You get to see the vulnerable side of her. When, you do. When he turns around to her and he says, you need to go solo now. And she's like, but what? Mm -hmm. I've been with these girls mm -hmm. since I was 15 yeah. and now you want me to trust you enough to go solo this is a massive massive shift massive shift mm -hmm. and the shift then she becomes a woman she becomes mm -hmm. a superstar but without that I don't think it would have worked they no. needed her they needed each other mm -hmm. and they will still say that today did you know when you got cast uh, in the show yeah and the excitement that goes with that is yeah. overwhelming, you know, oh you think, my oh my word, goodness. It's overwhelming, so. and you can't tell anyone, and <laughs> it feels like six weeks have passed, and then it feels like, wait, did I really get the job? <laughs> because you haven't been able to explode. Yeah. <laughs> So early on in my career, I've I've been a swing. I've worked my way through, and you've for paid your dues. Yeah, you're ready. And I and I think everyone should be a swing, and I think everyone should be in the ensemble. And I've been a, an assistant dance captain, and you know I've I've done a lot of things, which in a short career span I've had so far has been incredible but they've all paved its way to this point where you can actually exactly, step out, exactly. out front and you do because not everyone is geared up for that not a, not everyone yeah. is meant to be out the front on their own reach out and touch was one of my biggest fears it's i used to wake scene. up with like cold sweats because it'd be i can't do that i can't ad lib that what if someone throws something at me and i just don't i don't know what to say you uh, know it's, uh, and she and was off the cuff and it's only know? once you do it that you just think I, I can, I can. Yeah, I can and you feel do. This, yeah. yeah, and the moment you step and it is out to there the as her, yeah, the moment like, you step out there as her, there was this confidence that I found in myself being her, mm -hmm. and she has brought out a lot in me that I probably didn't even know was there. This is where you make up. This is your little. This, this is, is all your it. stuff. Yeah, this is it. Um, it doesn't seem to be very. It seems to be very ordered. I've seen some dressing rooms yeah. that are very chaotic. No, I, like I am very organised. Mm -hmm. I like things to be decluttered, if if you if you Impossible. know what I mean. I think yeah. the show is very fast paced, and yeah, I've put my makeup brushes. They're probably a little bit more messier at the end of the show, mm. but before every, yeah, and, and before the end of every show, I always put it away neatly mm. because I like to come in here fresh head, fresh mind and start again. Because it's a lot of work, isn't it? The it's show, a lot you know, of work you... and it's so fast paced that you don't have time for messiness. Not having it together. Do you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you've got to have it together and you've got to be um, on it mm. before it's even happened because if you're, if you're not, there's not enough time for changes and wig changes and mm. things like that, for things to not be in place. Mm because then I won't get on stage. No, that's a bad thing. But, get, yeah, <laughs> but get, being here, getting ready, I like this space. It's a very calm room, and it just centers me before the big explosion of coming out on stage. And it is, is you know, the energies are high, I get nervous every night, the adrenaline's pumping, but I need a space of mm -hmm. calm. Well, speaking yeah. of which, you're about to do that all over again this yeah. evening. Have another great show Thank today. You. you must be tiring Thank on these matinee so days. Much. It's a delight to meet you, and anyone who's interested, I urge you to see Motown. Not just for Lucy, but the whole company are fantastic. Lots the of great singing, lots of great music. It's, a, it's just a really enjoyable show. Thank, Thank you for so having us here. So